Sometimes I think the devs are just playing God, trying to see what weirdest stuff they can get us to do. So anyways, they reworked Rudin. Another spot where rotations don't matter. I'm sure one of you on some crazy movement class can use more than one flag, but you're weird and probably don't need this guide. The mobs here spawn in waves and approach you. There isn't much moving involved. Classes with a lot of frontal guards are going to have an easier time, assuming you're below the DP requirement. Speaking of DP, the game recommends 360 DP, and that's why I would recommend as well. While grinding, I wasn't getting a lot of misses despite running hybrid gear and 1100 evasion on Mystic, so this is a spot for you DR players. The AP cap here is 835 combined AP, and the mobs are demi-human types, so get yourself that demi-human light sunset and go crazy. Each rotation or camp is going to have the same layout of 3 towers and a supply of hosts with crates. The towers cast large AoEs on you that cause stagger, and deal huge damage especially to lower DP. Start your grind off by killing the three towers, removing the towers will make a little mage dude spawn in the middle of them. The mage will cast a large barrier for you that greatly increases your monster DR and prevents range damage from reaching you. After farming the surrounding mobs, three elites with attack of glorious will spawn and try to swarm you. Try to use the monster DR buff to kill them as they do hurt quite a lot. Killing the three glorious mobs will cause waves of enemies to spawn for the next four to five minutes. Kill the endless waves of mobs until you get a message pop up saying the crates were set on fire. You can then blow up the crates, rewarding you with massive loot and resetting the spot to do it all again. This place is really chill and a great way for lower gear players to make some good money now. Getting around 16,000 trash at 12 to spares an hour, this is going to be amazing money for people looking to just get out of orc camp. So what do you guys think? Are you going to be coming here to get materials for your gloves? Does it need more of a buff? Let me know in the comments. And as always, good luck and happy grinding.